There is no telling how many personal family histories have been discovered in the DAR library and how many are still waiting to be found. The DAR Library is a specialized collection of American genealogical and historical manuscripts and publications totaling over a half a million resources. Believed by many to be one of the top three premier genealogical resource centers in the nation, the DAR Library has served family researchers for more than 110 years. With an estimated 20,000 visitors a year to its Washington, D.C. facility, the DAR Library has become an important American institution since originally being established to meet the growing research needs of the National Society's staff genealogists. When the National Society, Daughters of the American Revolution, was founded in 1890, the members were devoted to preserving the histories of the nation's founding fathers and mothers. The Society's mission was to perpetuate the memory and spirit of the revolutionary patriots and to promote historic preservation, education, and patriotism. Processing as many as 600 membership applications a month in the early years, the Society quickly identified the need for its own collection of reference books to assist the Register General in verifying the lineages documented in application papers. In 1896, during the Fifth Continental Congress, the Office of Librarian General was created, and the Congress unanimously selected Dr. Anita Newcomb McGee as the first to hold the position. She was instrumental in cultivating and defining the scope and nature of the new DAR library. It would be distinguished by its focus on records, which told the history of American families and communities, embracing state, county, town, and church materials. These unique holdings were not generally found in other Washington, D.C. libraries, or in some cases, in any library at all. The library began with 125 books housed in a small room where the administrative offices of the Society were first located on 9th and F Streets Northwest. By the time the DAR moved into its newly built headquarters in 1910, the collection had grown dramatically to 5,000 volumes. The most valuable sources for this expanding collection were the daughters. Members generously donated the histories and records of their ancestors. When DAR state and chapter librarian positions were created, even more resources poured in. A healthy competition between chapters and states developed as they attempted to outdo one another with the number of books they donated. Local chapters began searching old cemeteries for headstones of patriots and submitting transcriptions from those headstones, as well as other local records to expand the variety and wealth of resources of the collection. When the Society moved into Memorial Continental Hall, the Daughters thought the beautiful gallery space on the north side of the auditorium would become the permanent home of the DAR library. But the collection outgrew this space and moved to the second floor of the newly built Constitution Hall in 1929. When the library collection once again exceeded its surroundings, a major remodeling of the Memorial Continental Hall Bazaar style auditorium was completed in 1949 to house the library. Since that time, periodic alterations to the auditorium have allowed for the collection's growth. While the current home of the DAR library is distinctive in its architectural beauty, historic significance, and for hosting more than just researchers. The most important aspect of the DAR library is its unique collection and resources. More than a century after its creation, the DAR library now contains over 185,000 volumes, 300,000 digitized files, and 65,000 microforms. Just as it has been since shortly after 1900, the DAR library is open to the public DAR, SAR, SR, and CAR members may use the library for free, while others pay a small daily user fee that helps support the basic operations of the library. Researchers come from near and far to use a library, and its own publications and online catalog help those visitors to be more prepared prior to their arrival. 
With its scope clearly defined from its creation, the DAR Library primarily serves the needs of those doing American genealogical and historical research. The broad collection includes materials from four centuries of American history and represents a great diversity of peoples and traditions. The distinction of being one of the country's premier genealogical research centers is a credit to the quantity and quality of its collection, but more specifically for the wealth of materials unique to the DAR. The DAR Library possesses over 20,000 typescript volumes covering all 50 states, which contain previously uncollected genealogical materials such as Bible records, local histories, cemetery transcriptions, court record abstracts, censuses, military records, vital records, and other similar sources. These records, called Genealogical Records Committee Reports, or GRC reports, represent one of the most important and unique parts of the collection. Whether a novice or an expert genealogist or anywhere in between, the DAR Library is an essential resource collection for all researchers to visit. When preparing a trip to the DAR Library, make sure to plan ahead. Peruse the DAR Library website to gather general information, do preliminary research with the online library catalog, and determine the services available to researchers on site and from afar. A must for those anticipating thorough research at the DAR Library is to purchase the publication American Genealogical Research at the DAR. This is the only comprehensive guide to the genealogical resources and services available at DAR headquarters. Once you arrive at the DAR Library, Professional library staff are available at the reference desk to get you started on your search and help you along the way. Online catalogs and databases are accessible at a number of computer terminals provided in the library. Some of these electronic resources are only available on site at the library and bring hard to find data to your fingertips using powerful and continuously expanding genealogical and historical document databases. For many hard-to-find records not in print or electronic form, researchers can use the SIMES Technology Center. In addition to several major genealogical subscription databases, the National Society's own research databases can be accessed in the center, including digitized membership application papers. The center also contains a wide variety of unique microform publications and special collections. After concluding your visit to the DAR Library, you can continue to utilize a number of DAR Library resources from your own home. The same is true for those who can't make a trip to the Washington, D.C. facility at all. For a small fee, the DAR Library offers a search service to find requested on-site records for off-site researchers, as well as a photocopy service to provide specific copies from cited works available in the library. While a trip to the DAR Library is most beneficial to researchers, the DAR has made great strides in enhancing digital and online resources to make its records more accessible and safe for future generations. Recent major efforts have included digitization of paper records and enhanced database indexing. The DAR is committed to helping advance the field of genealogy for generations to come. It has hosted popular genealogy conferences, attracting well-known genealogists and historians to speak along with the expert DAR genealogy and library employees on engaging topics in the field. Genealogical articles and books published by DAR include Forgotten Patriots, African American and American Indian Patriots in the Revolutionary War. This culmination of more than 25 years of research documents approximately 6,600 names of African Americans and American Indians who contributed to the cause of independence. In continuing important genealogical research and education, the DAR hopes to encourage people to explore and preserve their own family histories, adding to the shared wealth of knowledge of our collective past. Through all the expansion, transition, and enhancements of the library, there is no doubt where the credit lies for the continued success of the DAR Library. Dedicated daughters working with dedicated staff. 
The prestige of the DAR Library could never have been realized without the devotion and generosity of DAR members and other friends of the Library. The future success of the Library lies in your hands. Since its founding, the DAR Library has prospered from the generosity of DAR members and other genealogists. From the original book donations and financial contributions made to start the collection, to volunteers researching and compiling the Genealogical Records Collection, DAR members have built an irreplaceable repository of American history. Even members who lived far away and who could never visit the DAR library in person felt a connection and a devotion to their library. By donating their local and family histories, they helped not only to preserve their family lineages, but also to provide this rarely seen genealogical data to those across the country who might not have discovered these details otherwise. At its onset, the library needed important supplies in addition to books in order to thrive. The Mary Washington chapter of Washington, D.C. helped furnish the library in its new home providing such vital equipment as tables, chairs, and bookshelves. The chapter maintained their support to the library until 1930, and some of those original donated furnishings are still in use in the library today. This type of dedicated support from the membership is one reason for the success of the library, and continued support for the membership is a major way for the library to maintain its significance and continue to grow. Today, the small service fee that public researchers pay is only a fraction of the income needed for daily operational costs. The library is supported primarily through membership dues, gifts, and bequests. It welcomes donations of books and other genealogical materials. People interested in donating materials to the library can browse the library wish list and donation form online or contact the Library Acquisitions Office with questions and for more information. Another way to support library operations and help enrich the collection is by providing financial contributions. All gifts, small or large, by individuals or groups are important to the library. Some recent financial contributions for special enhancement projects include a bequest from the North Carolina member that allowed the library to take better advantage of its space by installing compact shelving. The California State Society raised money to enable the DAR to install a new entry doorway to provide easier visibility and access to the library. And the Wisconsin State Society generously donated funds for the production and distribution of this video to help better educate the members and the public about the Society's amazing resource in the DAR library and how they can help support it. Thousands of others make donations that help support special projects improve the physical condition of the library, and update and expand the book collection. These generous individuals receive the distinct honor of being counted among the Friends of the Library. As such, they qualify for a designated pin in recognition of their generosity. Financial contributions and donations of materials are a major reason the library has thrived through the years, but just as important is the volunteer support given to the library since its founding. Volunteer opportunities for those who want to help, whether on-site at the library or from the convenience of their own home, include projects such as book indexing. DAR members who volunteer their time may earn credit towards a special bookworm pin, which recognizes the many hours they have dedicated to these important projects. Support of the work and mission of the DAR library goes even beyond the walls of the beautiful headquarters building. Many members help spread the good word about the DAR organization by donating DAR publications to their local libraries or other community organizations. There is much that continually needs to be done to sustain the DAR library's collection and historic home, with many projects on the horizon to help keep the library relevant and progressive as new technologies revolutionize genealogical record keeping and research. Your support is greatly needed and deeply appreciated. The great passion that members have shown for more than a century to preserve the stories and records of our ancestors and in turn provide that valuable information to others has made the DAR Library a great success story. An incredible opportunity awaits those of you 
who have that same passion and who would like to be part of history in the making by helping shape and support the future of the DAR Library.